Okay, I want to show off the uh, this kitchen here. I've been remodeling. Oh, it's been a huge job. This is a complete demo and installation of everything here. Cabinets, the floor, that uh, that range vent, range hood, whatever you want to call it. That was such a pain in the ass to install. Good Lord Almighty. It took two days and it's heavy as a motherfucker. And the tiles over here. Don't ever let anyone tell you these long, these large format tiles are easy because they're not. And some of them are warped. But I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, look at that. That's. Pretty straight. And over here, I mean, it's hard to get straighter than that. And they're pretty much flush. But yeah, there's some there's some low and high spots. I mean, they're gonna be imperceptible at the end of the day. But you just do what you can, you know. And the overall effect looks nice. So that's really the most important thing. So, yeah, new stove. You know, we, the only thing I didn't do was the uh, granite countertop. That was subcontracted out because obviously I'm a one-man show and that would be, I don't know how many tons of stone to lift. That's, that's a five-guy job. <clears throat> Man, I don't have the tools to cut stone like that. But it looks nice. So, still got more tiling to do. Um, gonna do the, uh, you know, new, new door jams and trim. Get some crown molding up in here. Uh, but that is not the magnum opus, the, most, the, the thing that I'm really proud about is this, I'll show you, it's the back pantry area where we're going, and there's all my tools set up for next week, there's the back pantry, but check this shit out, you're gonna love this shit, okay, oh, ho, ho. It's supposed to turn on when you walk in, but I had it switched off, look at that, each shelf is under illuminated, or under illuminated, under illuminated. That's a new word. So, and all these shelving, they're uh, they're custom. So, it's uh, maple plywood and mahogany uh, face frames, and this is all custom. I built it painted it. I mean, it took a couple weeks. This is a lot of work right here, but... Oh God, you guys should have seen it before, man. The floor was completely gone. Laminate flooring was rotted. Peeling up. Uh, the walls were horrible and misshapen. And it was just good God almighty. But the cool thing about these LED strips come with a little remote. So I can change I can change the mode. Ooh. Look at that. You can do uh let's see here, disco effects. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Can we go to... Yeah, that's nice. Right? Aha. So, yeah, that was a lot of work, too. So what I had to do was, um... Yeah, I'll show you underneath 
we got these strips, but what I had to do was splice them because they come as a 20 foot, 24 foot roll. And each, each span here is about 12 underneath the entire shelf area. So I had to, I had to split it. It's 12 and 12 is 24. So I got one roll for two shelves and there's five. So I needed three reels and I had to do some splicing. There's a, uh, you know, it's not hard. I used some Cat5 cable because it's 24 gauge and this is a uh, 0.6 amp system. That's what Hot melt to stick it in there. It's not going anywhere. It's in there. Good. 